so I'm Raihan. So I'm one of the uh, developers of KubeDB working at AppScore. And as previously announced in this webinar, we're going to walk you through how to provision cruise control for KubeDB managed Apache Kafka clusters. So earlier this year, uh, KubeDB announced its support for Apache Kafka. And since then we have been adding uh, newer features and newer version supports for Kafka. And with this continuity, uh, in our upcoming release, we're going to add support for cruise control with your KubeDB managed Apache Kafka. So let's uh, get started with it. So at first you need to know what is cruise control. So basically what cruise control is, cruise control is an open source tool, which is basically used to rebalance Kafka clusters uh, on any platform. So yeah, the cruise controls other features include that Kafka broker resource utilization tracking, uh, uh, so that it can, uh, you can is very easily track your resource utilization, uh, how much, uh, which partition is not unass unassigned, which partition is uh, low in its replica, and et cetera, and other information. You can also gain the ability to query the latest replica state, like under-replicated uh, under partitions, offline replicas, and out of sync replicas, et cetera. You can also set goal-based resource utilization so that you can utilize your resources as per your architecture requirements. You can also use anomaly detection with self-healing, uh, self-healing with cruise control. Uh, you can also perform administration operations on Apache Kafka brokers, uh, operations like adding brokers, deleting brokers, or demoting brokers, and rebalance your cluster, uh, reassigning partitions, running PLEs, et cetera. So in our upcoming release, we are going to add support for this cruise control. So let's see what we are going to be discussing in our, our throughout the webinar. At first, we are going to discuss uh, why you should use KubeDB for Apache Kafka clusters, what are its benefits, what are we offering to you. Then we're going to see cruise control for Apache Kafka how to configure cruise control how to, or how to enable cruise control with Apache Kafka and how to provision Kafka with QDB. After that, we're going to uh, jump into a live demonstration. We're going to uh, provision cruise control with Apache Kafka cluster. And finally, we're going to discuss some upcoming features that we're going to provide in our, uh, uh, in, in our releases in, this, in, in, the, in the later part of this year. And we're going to wrap it up with a Q&A session in the end. So at first, let's see why we should use KubeDB for Apache Kafka. So say in a simple sentence, KubeDB simplifies the provisioning of Apache Kafka on Kubernetes. You don't have to take care of the configurations, all the authentication secrets, and all of the services, all of the, uh, all of the other stuff that you need to handle manually to provision or install Kafka brokers on Kubernetes. KubeDB operators will do that for you. So we are supporting the Zookeeper care of mode. So this is new to Kafka earlier uh, in earlier releases in earlier versions of Apache Kafka. Zookeeper was a dependency. You have to install Zookeeper for, uh, first, then you have to install uh, Kafka. So Zookeeper was used to uh, store the metadata or control the whole uh, situation in Kafka brokers, but now KubeDB, uh, now KubeDB supports Zookeeper less care of mode. Kafka have dropped, uh, Kafka have announced to drop Zookeeper from its major version 4.0. So KubeDB is uh, now maintaining this care of mode version of Kafka. Now in care of mode, we are supporting uh, both of the clustering modes. One is combined mode and the other one is topology mode. So in combined mode cluster, each of the ports run in, runs in both controller mode and in broker mode. You can assume the controller as the alternative version of Zookeeper. So controller is basically the responsible uh, responsible for maintaining the Kafka cluster for the whole uh, supporting uh, for uh, storing the whole metadata for keeping the whole cluster connected. We also have the topology mode, which is for which is ideal for production cluster. You can deploy a topology mode with dedicated controller nodes and dedicated broker nodes for Kafka. Now, you can also ensure TLS secure connectivity among brokers, controllers, and external clients. If you just enable SSL, our operator will do uh, the rest of the stuff for you. Okay, so 
we also are providing a continuously running and customizable health checker so basically our health checking operation is like this uh, it creates a topic in your kafka broker once it's ready and then it tries to publish some data some random data into that topic and uh, so that it can be ensured that you can um, you can publish you can create topic and you can publish data on your kafka brokers and this is customizable so you can disable this health checker you can configure the hero thresholds you can also configure the time interval of this health checker requests okay so your authentication secrets your configuration secrets all of them are secrets we secured within kubernetes secret so our operator cares Kubernetes secrets for you if you don't provide uh, customizedly. You can also monitor your metrics through Prometheus and Grafana dashboards. So just enabling, uh, just enabling uh, Prometheus on the Kafka uh, manifest, we'll do that. And QDB have built some Grafana dashboards for you, which you can use to monitor your metrics. And finally, in our last release, uh, sorry, in our upcoming release, we're going to provide support for custom configuration. We already have a uh, hosted a webinar for that so that you can provide uh, custom configuration according to your system requirement, according to your architecture requirement on your Kafka brokers. And Kafka brokers will be bootstrapped with your custom configuration. Uh, so the versions we are supporting currently now 3.3.0, 3.3.2, and 3.4.0. We have plans to add support for 3.4.1, uh, which have some CVE fix and some bug fixes, and 3.5.0, which is uh, considerably the latest version of Kafka in our upcoming release, along with cruise control. Okay. So this is how to uh, the, our Kafka cooperators can uh, flow the uh, provision of Kafka. So Let's assume that you have a Kubernetes cluster on cloud and in this cluster, you have installed QBB. So a provision operator pod and optimator operator pod must be running in your cluster if you have installed, if you have done that. So what our provision operator does is it watches over the Kafka custom resource. Uh, if you apply a custom resource manifest of Kafka with necessary uh, specifications that you need, our provisioner operator triggers a reconciliation and it starts creating services, stateful says, secrets, and binding PBCs and other workloads for uh, bootstrapping Kafka clusters or the Kafka brokers. And if you have enabled TLS, our awesomeness operator would create necessary certificates, put them in some uh, Kubernetes secrets, and they will be also bootstrapped to Kafka uh, with TLS security. Okay, so right now we are supporting two types of termination policy. One is wipeout and the other one is do not terminate. If you said do not terminate, it will prevent your cluster to be uh, accidental, uh, to be deleted accidentally. And if you set wipeout, it will just uh, uh, wipe out everything on your cluster. Uh, there will be no trace of the database resources. Okay, so what are we going to provide in our upcoming release? So we are adding support for push control. So right now, what it will be, do, uh, what will happen is the provisional operator will also create cruise control if you enable it from the Kafka manifest ML. So prior to installing cruise control, it will also install necessary configuration secrets, necessary authentication secrets, necessary services, headless services, and deployments to deploy the ports. So basically, within the deployment, the deployment will deploy the ports, and, and within the port deployment, con uh, within the port containers. Uh, not only the Kafka cruise control backend will be deployed, but also the cruise control UI frontend will be installed uh, or will be in, uh, will be installed with it, which is embedded into the cruise control backend. Okay, so which can be uh, which can later be used or port forwarded through your browser or uh, or any other gateway using the headless service. Okay, so this is a sample YML for Kafka cluster which have the cruise control enabled in it. So if we start from the top, you can see that the API version, like any other Kubernetes resource, it must have API version, kind, meta, and spec section. In the API version of any Kubernetes resource, uh, it is right now in kubedb.com slash v1 alpha 2. The kind must be Kafka. In the meta section, you can provide the name, namespace of your Kafka. Uh, for the demo, we are naming our Kafka cluster to be Kafka dev. 
the namespace is demo where we are going to deploy our cluster into you can also add levels and attractions etc in this manual section in this spec section i have provided a replica number of three for that and we are deploying a combined node cluster here you can also uh, deploy topology mode cluster uh, you can see the a sample a sample of mls from our uh, documentations okay now we have provided the storage which is claiming yeah it is requesting resource of one gigs from our cluster the stores class name is standard here you can provide your own uh, as per your requirement or as per a system so, and the storage type set here is durable you can also set it ephemeral if you set durable even if your pod crashes or your cluster gets deleted the pvc will be there to back you up and finally the cruise control spec which is added uh, which is uh, added newly you can provide the suffix or uh, for your Kubernetes uh, deployment of cruise control, it will be added as a suffix to the, the Kubernetes deployment. So you can provide the number of libclass you want. Uh, basically for this demo, one is enough. You can provide the port template. So here in this port template spec section, I have provided uh, my uh, some uh, my required resources and requests. I am limiting the uh, Kafka ports, oh sorry, I'm limiting the cruise control ports uh, to use a CPU of maximum of 1.5 core and I'm requesting CPU of 800 millicore and setting the memory request of 1 gigs. I'm setting the termination policy to be wiped out for this demo but you can also set do not terminate to prevent from accidental deletion and basically this port template this is under the spec section this port template is for Kafka I am setting uh, the Kafka, uh, CPU limit of 1.5 core to Kafka and one core of CPU request and memory of 1.5 gigs. And I'm deploying version Kafka version 3.3.2. You can also deploy 3.4.0 uh, if you want, which is the latest supported version of Kafka. Okay, so let's jump into our demo. At first, you have to install kubedb. So you can install kubedb using Helm, you can Helm charts. So uh, this is our last version, which was released in June. Our upcoming release is supposed to be happen uh, mid-August. So you have to use that version tag uh, if you want to install the kubedb uh, managed Kafka with uh, cruise control. Okay. So now I'm going to jump into my terminal. So this is my terminal and uh, this is connected to my local cluster. I have installed a local kind cluster. So let's see the version. So I am using Kubernetes client version 1.24.7.3, which is the latest one. Uh, soon Kubernetes is going to release 1.28 though. And the server version, which is kind server version is 1.27.3. Okay. So the YML uh, you have just seen, I am going to apply this YML on my cluster. Uh, I already have kubedb installed here. Okay, so let's apply this YML. Okay. As you can see, as I have applied this YML or provision operator, which is watching over this Kafka resource, Kafka dev. It has created the necessary services. The services, one is for cluster IV service, another one is headless service for Kafka, another headless service for Kafka cruise control here. And it has also created a secret, which is Kafka dev config. This is for the Kafka configuration. And here it is the Kafka custom resource. So what a provision operator does is once uh, it, it waits for Kafka clusters to get ready. And when the Kafka clusters uh, gets ready, it uh, it runs a health checker on uh, the Kafka cluster as we have already mentioned. After the health checker passes, our this Kafka custom resource status gets ready. So after this custom resource gets ready, our uh, provisioner deploys the deployment for Kafka custom controller, uh, Kafka, Kafka cruise control, and then 
it takes some time for cruise control to get ready so now our cruise control pod is up and it's connected to our cluster it is running fully and as you can see our operator have generated a uh, secret which is containing the cruise control configurations so i'm going to i'm going to view this secret so that you can get some in, insights on it so basically what you can see is uh this is the key for broker sales json which contains all the broker set information i can you can see i have three brokers with id 0 1 and 2 and broker set id have set to be the same name of the kafka cluster uh, if you want to set your custom uh, custom secret for this cruise control you can also set that uh, if you want to set these broker sets uh, on your own you can set that using this key this is the capacity json file which can be uh, which can be assigned using this key capacity json if you use a custom secret for cruise, uh, cruise control you can do that with this these broker capacities are the how, how much disk can a broker use you can see that the broker id is zero the broker that has id zero it have the capacity to use the maximum of this disk and the cpu number of 1.5 so basically we are by default we are setting the cpu request limit here for each of the broker ports if you want to set it manually you can also do that with a custom config secret this is the config csv config csv is the configuration for our uh, cruise control ui front end so this is the api to which this front end is going to uh, get its uh, resources or uh, request for responses because for its uh, components and this is the local host and dev this is so we are going to see the dev name and space of local host in config csv you can customize it as you like you can also provide multiple apis in this config csv and the, finally this is the cruise control properties which contains all the necessary or the default configurations that we have set from the uh, cruise control provisioner okay so let's for for this service which was this is the this is a headless service for kafka uh, cruise control and to, so that we can access the cruise control ui from our local host and view it on our browser okay so here we're going to hit our local host 9090 where we have port forwarded that service which is pointing to the cruise control ports so as you can see the greetings our local host dev so kafka cruise control is up here as you can see the kafka broker is state for broker id 0 1 2 uh, here are the replicas number of replicas number of replica leaders in each of the ports you can see now we have no out of seeking replicas online log directories each of these ports have uh, one online uh, log directories here total uh, you, you can see all of the necessary insights you want Kindly, we have no under minimum uh, in secret replicas, no offline replicas, or no offline partitions, or no under replicated partitions. So, this is it. You can use the other APIs. The other APIs uh, may require some time to get ready, as uh, cruise control requires matrices uh, from the Kafka clusters, and it takes some time to train those matrices to generate uh, this cluster load, partition load, and this resource distribution stuff. Okay, so this is it. So this is how to you can. Uh, so this is how you can just simply provision cruise control with uh, your Apache Kafka clusters, which are provisioned with KubeDB. Okay, so this is it. So. Here are some, some of our upcoming features. We are going to provide support from uh, Kafka Ops request. So Kafka Ops request are basically uh, uh, Kubernetes native operations, uh, which can uh, make you 
uh, make your life easy by managing day to life cycle, uh, life cycle operations like uh, scaling up your cluster, scaling down your cluster, updating your uh, Kafka version, or maybe expanding your volu uh, volume of your cluster, uh, etc. Or uh, you can also you can also perform some TLS operations like uh, removing TLS or uh, or adding support for TLS, etc. Okay, we are also provide uh, we are also planning to add support for connect to external systems with Kafka Connect. This is one of our promising uh, releases, uh, which can be uh, possible in our uh, in the in in the uh, latest part of this year. And finally, we're planning to do some health checker improvement. We are planning to add uh, some uh, consuming operations with our health checker so that it can be ensured that both you can uh, publish data to health checker and you can uh, also consume data from the health checker. And we are also planning to make our health checker faster uh, so that Kafka can be easily, uh, Kafka, health, uh, Kafka can function more uh, effortlessly. So this is it. This is all about our webinar. 